Okay, yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got a massive day ahead today, trips to the thrift Thursday morning, 9am, that's how I like to do things, getting here for the very start of the day and hopefully we can kick things off with a few winners. Um, guys, you're going to come along for the ride with me today, if you are new to the channel, welcome, consider hitting the subscribe and the like button for me right now. Um, we're going to go and try and find a bunch of stuff to sell on eBay because that's what I do full time, absolutely love doing these trips to the thrifts every single Thursday. So. Let's dive into it. Let's see what we can get. All right, guys, we are off to a very good start here with this Dragon Ball Z size large men's t-shirt. Uh, really nice piece here. I think I want to be able to push 30 bucks. I do like finding the Dragon Ball Z gear. Uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle. Speaking of brands, I like to find in the thrift. For $8, I figured this one was an absolute steal. Should go for 30 to $35. Even coming into the summertime here in Australia, I still think it'll sell. I've got the 2000 uh, Qantas Australian Grand Prix Melbourne vintage snapback hat. I talk a lot on my channel about how much I feel like these hats are underrated in the thrift for a two dollar purchase i should get some good money on ebay for that one wanted to put these into the video as well i've picked these up guys a very cheap six dollars but it's the brand of shoe that i want you guys to be looking out for wein brenner or wine brenner i'm not sure how to pronounce it but do look out for the brand it does have some pretty good comps on ebay pretty stock standard pair of adidas running shoes here in the women's uh, range only a four dollar purchase some limited wear but i still think i'll be able to get about 35 dollars uh, for those ones this was an instagram viewer poll question guys a very clean pair of Asics Gel Burr number 33 there, as you can see. Gel Blurs, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure on these. I do need to do my comp researches, but $30 is the price point. Let me know what you would do in the comments below. Uh, a big win in the clothing section as well, guys. Paul and Shark, I have spoken about this brand on the channel before, but whenever I'm finding these sort of pants in the thrift, I'm generally giving myself about a $35 to $40 sale on eBay. So to pick these up for a very, very cheap price, as you're seeing here, I was very happy to get my hands on those. Also found this as well. I love my jerseys. You guys know that. Look, it is a size small, that which isn't great. I do prefer a larger size, but this is the sole uh, Nike genuine uh, jersey, and uh, it was only $8, so I grabbed it. We've got the barber uh, vest as well. Now, this one was worn, but it is an outdoor jacket, $8. As you can see, there's definitely some wear on there. But uh, the brand, guys, my goodness, I didn't realize how good of a brand it was until I did my comp research. Another one to be looking out for. All right, guys, we're off and racing. The first stop shop all wrapped up, and I'm pretty happy with the start. It's not, nothing crazy. There's more bread and butter items, really, in that first little go. But um, there was an Instagram viewer poll question there, which was the Asics Gel Burr, or Gel Blur, I should say, 33s. And um, I put it up there because I, I was a bit unsure about the price. $30, I thought that was pretty steep for a pair of running shoes. But if they can go on to sell for $100, maybe they're worth it. So I put it up to you guys, and you did say to drop them. I then had a look at the comps as well on eBay afterwards, and they were only going for about, at most, $40. The reason I was considering them at 30 is that condition of shoe is so important when you're out in the thrift. So these were a nine out of 10, nine and a half out of 10. They really were excellent shoes. Therefore, I wanted to deliberate on that $30 price point. But I've got to agree with you, 30 bucks is probably too steep. Maybe would have considered them at 15 to $20, something like that. Uh, let's keep moving, guys. Op shot run number two coming up. Good stuff. Even just on the chair here. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So what you're seeing here, guys, is an untouched box of DVDs that was hiding out the back. It had yet to hit the shelf, and I was talking to one of the guys in there, and he did mention that he had some DVDs just arrived. So here we are, the very first person to be able to sift through these box of DVDs to hopefully find some really great items. And sure enough, McLeod's Daughters is the first one that I was able to see, and I know that that goes on to sell well, so it's already a pretty good start, seasons one to six of that. The Secret Life of Us, I remember watching this TV show. Let me know in the comments if you did too. This is the complete series box set. It was a mixture of box sets and individual DVDs. So I really spent quite a bit of time sifting through absolutely everything. And then a second box came out and uh, I started digging through <laughs> that one as much. well to hopefully try and find some more box sets. And sure enough, I found the Cosby Show. 
This one comps really well on eBay. I'm thinking about $95 for the Cosby Show. So that was a ripping grab in itself. Now, you're probably thinking about, well, how much is this going to cost? I mean, I'll get to that in a second. But basically, it was going to be a dollar a disc. That was going to be the price point. Love My Way, a good series as well. But this is everything that I looked out, guys. McLeod's Daughters, Seasons 1 to 6. We've got Love My Way, a bunch of kids' DVDs. I ended up putting the kids' DVDs away because there were too many scratches on those. And, and that's generally the case when you're buying kids' DVDs. You can often find that they have been tampered with a little bit. You've got the Lord of the Rings trilogy set there on Blu-ray. You've got Jurassic Park, the DVD set as well, the Ultimate Collection. All of these sorts of DVDs go on to sell great on eBay. So I'm blown away to see so many in one store. I've also got the Alien Quad trilogy there. That should go for about $30. I've sold that one in the past. And then I picked out those individual DVDs that all comp for anywhere between sort of $10 to $15 a piece. And then you've got Danielle Steele as well. There's a bundle there of eight DVDs that I'll do for about $40. So I knew that I needed to sift through every single disc and make sure that I had quality over quantity. There needed to be no scratches on these discs before I committed to the purchase and there needed to be no discs missing. So I really did spend quite a bit of time in here sifting through and this was the final product. I knew exactly how many discs I had here and it was just a matter of asking him how much it was gonna be. So you understand they're a dollar a disc, mate, so with the sets? Yeah, okay. So we started to sift through the DVDs and he was basically counting up every single disc. I didn't let him know how many I'd counted. It was just letting him do his thing. Would you do a bulk discount? No. <laughs> how much is it? Yeah, I've taken, I've taken some off it for you. Yeah. Mate, I'm 160, mate. Actually, 150. 150? How's that? Done, mate. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Appreciate it. Oh my goodness, guys. Look, if there is one tip that I can give for you guys in this video today, it is to ask your people in the op shops if they have anything else out the back. It was simply by asking that question in conversation with one of the workers that allowed all of that to take place. And genuinely, I believe out of what we've been able to find, well, first of all, there's 17 listings that I can put up onto my eBay store. But secondly, I think there's about six to $700 worth of DVD sales through all those box sets and individuals that I was sifting through. And I would have said it in the voiceover, um, but look, it's a real fine tooth comb process to make sure you do have the complete series there. You're not running away with missing discs. Um, I really methodically went through everything in that last pretty much hour. I've pretty much been in there. I'm checking my arm like I've got a watch on. Um, basically like the last hour of, of sifting through that to make sure it was correct. But I'm super pumped with what we've been able to get. Disc scratches as well, I was checking for that. We have come away with an absolute beauty. Um, to kick off op shot run number two. And um, yeah, I'm absolutely blown away by that. I, I paid 150, I was happy with that. There was a bit of discount. And um, and we've come away with six to $700 worth of DVD sales. It's a beautiful game. Let's keep going guys, op shot run. There was no viewer poll question in that one. I was sifting through my DVDs for too long to put a poll up, but um, yeah, sorry about that. But let's move on to op shot run number three and we'll see if we can just find the same stuff in there. Well, this day just keeps getting better and better, guys. We've got the Adidas Gazelles. These are an awesome shoe that you'll see quite often when you're in the thrift. And definitely go ahead and pick it up because it goes on to sell pretty well. So comps on eBay, I'm talking $50 for these and I'm paying about $7 in this op shop. So a fantastic result on the Gazelles. Also found these, which was an Instagram viewer poll question. These are the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080s. Have a look at the condition on them firstly. I would almost say a nine to nine and a half out of 10. And that's why I'm delivering on these shoes, it's a $25 price point. What would you do? Would you pay 25 bucks for these shoes? Hardly been worn? Really great pair, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I dove into the clothing section and I've got a bundle. I've got an absolute stack of clothing to take you through here and they're all really good items here. So the first one was just, I like the print on these track pants. LA, California vibes. We're talking a $4 price point for these. They're a women's size 14. Uh, so really great pair of track pants, those ones. Oh, I, look, they, they were a slight little bit of wear on them, but I still think maybe $25. They should just be a fast mover, just given the print on the leg. Um, so that was a good little first grab. The next pair that I've got for you is a brand that I've never actually put into the channel before, and I don't know why, because it's such a great brand. These are only $5. The brand is David Smith. So if you're looking for clothing items, particularly men's shirts in general, um, David Smith is a fantastic brand with some huge comps on eBay. So for $5 to get the shorts, they should turn into about $35. These are the Pharrell Williams G-Star camouflaged women's jeans. Now, tapered leg, 
They were 25 waist, they were 30 length, and they were only $10. These in brand new condition go for, there it is there, the 56223D, the mid boyfriend. They actually go for three to $500 in brand new condition. These are a hidden gem. So I've gone ahead and picked these up, obviously for the $10 price point. I'm gonna list these up, up for about $150, just because the condition of them is excellent. So we're talking $150 in a pair of pants, if I can pull it off. That was a really nice pair of track pants as well. There's a slight stain at the end of the tick, as you can see there. We'll wash that one out. But I really like the multicolored uh, glitter logo there. An $8 price point on these. These are a pair of women's uh, medium, I believe. Either, they, to be honest, they probably could be unisex, men's or women's. But the condition of them, very good. The Nike brand, my favorite one to sell. So that was a great pickup there for, again, a very low price. These were the Larkies, the Diesel Larkies. Probably my favorite pair of jeans to sell, uh, the Diesel brand. $8 on these. You can often find them in local op shops for you know $25 to $30. So to get the button flies, uh, these are a 34 waist and a 32 length, which again, doesn't really deter me too much. So I should be able to get about $70 for those jeans on eBay. So guys, an absolute huge clothing bundle there, along with a couple of pairs of shoes as well. Not too bad of a run for op shop run number three. Oh guys, it is heating up. It is heating up, not just out here in the sun, but in the thrift, we've had a good op shop run at number three of the day. Uh, so many great clothing items. I don't need to jump into it because you have just seen it, but I do need to bring up the Instagram viewer poll question, which was the New Balance 1080 men's running shoes. These were a US nine and a half. I wanted to talk about them just like the one in the op shop run number one. Uh, it was the condition. The condition was so good with these shoes. It was just a matter of knowing how much they go on to sell for on eBay per the comps. And the comps were telling me between 60 to $80 for a number of different uh, shoes. So the sell-through rate was really high on them as well. And the consistency of 60 to $80 was definitely there. Interestingly enough though, you guys have said to drop them. So I was actually really surprised at the fact that it was such a big percentage of you saying to drop because for $25 to sell them for say 70 on average, there's your $30 profit that I like to get for my pair of shoes. So if I hadn't spent so much money today on all these clothes and DVDs, I probably would have bought them for $25 to be honest with you. But um, look, nonetheless, still a really great run. We're a bit different there on those shoes, but um, let's keep moving. Let's finish the day on a monster high. Well, we've got another deliberation here. We've got the Midsummer Murders, the complete collection on DVD. $60 for the first box, $60 for the second box. I did ask the question. It's $120 worth of value here for the purchase. It's an Instagram viewer poll question as well. So I'll show you the results in just a minute. But let me know, what would you do with this one here? I found that one a very, very interesting thought. Um, the Noosa F 2 running shoes. I went over to the shoe section and there were a couple to pick from here. We've got this first one up for $14 and the soles on the are excellent as well. If they were my size, I might have actually kept these for the personal. A great pair of shoes, so that was a good find. Speaking of good finds, the ASICS Gel Kayano 22s in brand new condition for just $15 in the thrift. Jeez, we have had a great day finding some really great items. So guys, well over $100 on resale value for the Kayanos, a great find. And then my problem with the plush continues. We've got the uh, the Superman teddy bear. Now I'm really hoping that there's an expensive price point on this one, so I don't need to go ahead and commit to the purchase because I have way too many plush toys. And, uh, oh shit. Well, I'll tell you what, if there was ever a way to end the day, it would be finding a pair of brand new ASICS Gel Kayano 22s in the thrift for $15. They will go on to sell for $120. And if you've watched the channel for any length of time, you will know that that is my favorite pair of shoes to find when I'm out in the thrift, let alone get them for $15 in brand new condition. Brilliant. Um, we had an Instagram viewer poll question. That was the other one to talk about as well. Midsummer murders. My goodness, we have found some stuff in this episode today. Um, we had a 44% cop, 56% drop. And I think it was all deliberating on that price point, wasn't it? $120. Um, it, it's a lot of money, but I, I really do think my, my thoughts were a complete set like that, maybe $300 worth of resale value is what I was thinking. Um, the postage would have been about $30 or $40. It was quite big and heavy. Um, so you pull that out, you're talking about maybe $260. That's kind of a little over double your money. Uh, take out some fees. You could have made 100 bucks if you if you sold them for 300. But could you sell them for 300? That was the question. You guys said probably not, Matt. 56% drop. So I went with you and I left them behind. Again, a bit like the shoes, the New Balance 108s that I spoke about earlier. Um, it was basically due to the fact that I'd spent so much money already today. I've, I've spent about $280 in the thrift today, which is a lot more than we normally would, put it that way. Um, about 35 items purchased as well. So um, for that reason, I didn't want to then put another 120 into some DVDs that might sit there for quite some 
time. So um, I did go ahead with you guys on all three options today and I have left every single one on the shelf. But um, that wraps it up. I've got so much work to go and do. I'm gonna go and list all these up onto eBay ASAP. If you're interested in anything in this video, do shoot me a message on my Instagram because I'll always knock a few dollars off because I love you guys and I appreciate you tuning in. Um, Thanks very much for being here. The 30% Club is, if you're still charging with me right now, you guys mean the most to me. Oh, look, I appreciate everyone that watches these videos, but you guys that stick to the very end, I truly, absolutely love everything that you guys do for this YouTube channel. We are a real community that we are building here, and I have a lot of fun continuing this process. So um, I've got a lot of work to do, guys. I'll see you soon. I'm, 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 I'm pretty excited at the minute. I've probably got to calm myself down. We'll see you in the next vid. Thanks, guys.